field of nine. Four-year-old mares are lined up. Pacers behind the gate for the $88,600 Night Style Series Final. Here they come. And they're off, Lamora had her head right on the gate there. Gets some whip urging. Tattoo Hanover trying to leave on the outside. Yes, it's true. Reserved off that early lead. Take me higher. Leave sharply on the inside. Into the first turn as they battle early here. Lamora. And it's Luke Willett with Tattoo Hanover on the outside. Reaching up. Lamora now yields grudgingly. Two and a half lengths to take me higher third. The favorite. Yes, it's true. Got away in fourth past the quarter. Sandy Pants is fifth. English Rose is sixth. Ba Ba Ba. Ba Barbara Pan is seventh. Art Affection is eighth. And Bolero Agatha is ninth. The first quarter was a 27 and 1. Down the back stretch, it's Tattoo Hanover making her second start here. She leads it with Lamora right on the helmet. Two and a half flanks. Take me higher is third. Yes, it's true. Put to some whip urging in fourth. Looks to come out now. Sandy Pants is fifth. English Rose is sixth. Ba, ba, ba. Ba, Barbara Pan is seventh. Art Affection eighth. And on the outside, ninth, Bolero Agatha. At the half, Tattoo Hanover. Luke Willett looking to steal it here. Off a half of 55 and two-fifths being raided along here. Tattoo Hanover now on the attack. The favorite, yes, it's true. First over with Campbell. Second in challenging. Lamora in the pocket now with Sandy Pants setting it up now. She rushes up for the Catman with pace now fourth. English Rose and Miller getting into it fifth. Take me higher gaps towards the rail six. Ba, ba, ba. Ba, Barbara Penn sets it up from fourth over. They're at three quarters now. And their heads apart. Here comes, yes, it's true. Tattoo Hanover digging in. 123 and two. They're in the stretch. And yes, it's true. Rolls to the front. But Campbell is going to work. Stalked all the way by the Catman. And Sandy Pants on the outside. Here's Miller. And he is rousing English Rose. But yes, it's true. Turns them on and turns them away. It's yes, it's true. She's going to keep her winning streak alive. Yes, it's true. 11 in a row. Very tight for a second. Artifaction was flying late with English Rose. 152, a stakes record in the night styles for Yes, It's True. Purchased for $125,000 before this season. Her new owner, Alistair Stables, New Jersey resident David Offenberg, part of the team that set out Continental Victory in the 1996 Hamiltonian here at the Big M and, of course, Horse of the Year. And Kevin McDermott credits the success of this mare to the groom, Patricia Corton. He calls her the best groom in the world. Yes, it's true. Sweeps the night styles. The four-year-old bay mare by Arts Place out of Trudy Almahurst by Falcon Almahurst. Kevin McDermott trains for Alistair Stables, Morganville, New Jersey. John Campbell back from vacation and right into the winner's circle here. A picture-perfect mare, and she is headed for the Jersey Girls, which gets underway this week on Wednesday, and the Classic Distaff, and the Breeders' Crown as well. In the winner's circle, Carolyn Atherton, Irv Atherton, uh, Jerry Deasy, Bob Deasy, Joanne Tiernan, and Kevin Tiernan. Welcome to the Big M, and congratulations to the connections. A stakes record here, 152 for Yes, It's True, and an easy victory at that. David Offenberg from the Alistair Stables here, trainer Kevin McDermott, John Campbell, how to go back to the paddock, the horse is a little acting up, a little bit acting up there. Dave, tell us a little bit about your acquisition. When did you get Yes, It's True? We bought Yes, It's True at the end of November. Kevin had brought the horse from Chicago for some owners out there. Uh, they weren't used to racing stakes horses back east. They really wanted to race claimers in Chicago. Uh, Kevin advised that uh, I buy the horse, and uh, it was the, some of the best advice Kevin ever gave me. He really deserves all the credit. Were you thinking uh, when you bought the horse that you possibly might be racing in stakes and winning them? Uh, we really were looking at these two series. This one and the one that starts next week is our opportunity to get out on the horse. Uh, how good she is, we really don't know, but Kevin swore to me she's the real deal. And so far, uh, to uh, echo the horse's name, yes, it's true. Well, you're, you follow breeding pretty well. The damn Trudy Almahurst is pretty quick. She set the, uh, the pace there, and that the end there is world record in the mid-'80s. Yeah, Trudy Almahurst is a great horse. Uh, crosser with Arts Place, and really you could come up with anything. So the breeding was definitely there, and Kevin's training has definitely brought out her, out her ability. Kevin McDermott's with us. Kevin, our third leading trainer, tell us, are you surprised that Yes, It's True is now reeled off 11 in a row? Uh, for a horse to keep form uh, over a three-month period is absolutely remarkable. Uh, she's a great mare. She, you know, she proved it tonight. She come first over, which really isn't her racing style. And John said it's probably the best race she ever went. She's pretty versatile, too. I see post one, post ten, on off the pace. Doesn't make a whole lot of difference. 
it is an honor and a privilege to train a filly like this, and uh, she can just race, you know, anyway. Where does she go next? Uh, she's back in Wednesday night if she comes out of the race okay in the uh, Jersey Girls. And then um, after those series, we'll give her a little bit of time off and then see if she can go with the big mares. Okay, Kevin McDermott. Thanks very much, David Oppenberg. Congratulations, John Campbell. The Alistair Stables, the winner here.